Hatha Yoga Poses, Part 1 Namaskar Standing with the feet together, hands in Anjali Mudra Connecting to the Divine Consciousness Balancing the left and right hemispheres Preparation Lie on the floor Inhale and exhale Bringing the legs together Inhale, exhale and fully relax the body, scanning the body from the tip of the toes to the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale and pick up the left leg, bring it in close to your chest, cross your arms over the shin, halfway down. Hold the elbows with the palms of the hands. Inhale and exhale deeply. Hold for 10 counts. 30 seconds to one minute. Then lift your head, bringing the nose towards the knee and hold for 10 counts, 30 seconds or up to one minute. Benefits, massages the abdomen, releases trapped air, helps with impotence, removes toxins. Contraindications, do not do if you have recent hernia, piles, a late pre pregnancy, recent caesarean or other abdominal operations. Release the leg and lie on the floor. Inhale, exhale. Pick up your right leg, bring it in close to your chest, cross your arms and hold the elbows with your hands. The head is down. Hold for 10 counts, 30 seconds or up to a minute. Bring the leg in close to the abdomen. Lift your head and bring your nose towards your knee. Hold for 10 counts, 30 seconds or up to a minute. Release the leg. Lie on the floor. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale and bring the legs together. Dwi Pada Pavan Muktanasana. Lift both legs in close to the chest, cross the arms over the shins holding the palms onto the elbows with the head down. Hold for 10 counts. Lift the head towards the knees and hold for 30 seconds to a minute. Benefits. Improves the circulation in the pelvic reason, region. Massages the abdomen. Trapped air is released. In this wind release pose. Contraindications. Do not do if you have had any recent abdominal operations.
Release the legs back and lie on the floor. Relax in Shavasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Draw the knees up and open them sideways with the soles of the feet together. Inhale, exhale. Pick up the arms and the chest and draw the hands through the inside of the legs to hold the outside of the feet. Interlock the hands. As you exhale, pull the feet towards the body with the head down on the floor. Benefits. Excellent if your back is pulled or you've hurt your lower back muscles. You can maintain this pose for a long period of time to release the lower back issues. It also helps with female gynecological issues. Contraindications, recent gynecological surgery or spinal surgery. Dwi Pada Hasta Shia Konasa. You lift the head and pull the feet towards the top of the head or even place them behind the head if you are flexible enough and hold for 10 counts, 30 seconds or one minute. Variation type two, lift the head and look towards the back wall. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale and bring the legs together. Ada Chakrasana. Level one. Lift the knees, bring the arms down beside the body with the feet flat on the floor. Fingers towards the heels as you pull the arms down the side. Drawing the shoulders down and under Lift the hips and the chest. Hold for 10 counts. Interlock the hands and straighten the arms, pulling the arms under you, drawing the shoulders down. Lift the hips high, push the feet into the ground. Benefits, helps with bulging disc, strengthens the lower back, works on the thyroid gland. Contraindications recent abdominal surgery. Hold for 10 counts and release. Ada Chakrasan, level two. Take the hands under the body, 
fingers to the outside, wrists to the inside, touching each other with the wrists towards each other. You brace the pelvis, not the spine. You hold the pelvic bone with the elbows directly underneath the wrists and tucked in behind. Hold here for 10 counts or straighten the legs and hold for 10 to 20 seconds. Benefits recommended for a herniated spine. Contraindications, recent wrist surgery, spinal surgery, or chronic carpal tunnel issues. And relax, lying on the back, prepare for Ada Chakrasa level two variation. Lift the hips again, place the arms underneath, hold the hands under the pelvis with the wrists together and the fingers outwards. Then lift the legs up one at a time. This is an advanced variation Count to five for each side or hold each side for 30 seconds. Bring the left leg up straight and hold. Place it down, bring the right left leg straight up and hold. Place it down and relax in Shavasana. Preparation for Puna Chakrasana. The full wheel. Take the hands overhead. Fingers pointing towards the toes. Lift the knees and bring the heels in close. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, push into the hands to lift up onto the crown of the head as you lift the chest, chest and hips. Then push onto the arms to straighten them and lift the body higher. Try and straighten the legs more and lift the hips higher. Benefits helps with herniated disc issues and opens the spine. Contra indications do not do after a cesarean birth for, the, for six months or an abdominal operation or spinal fusion or breast cancer operation. Hold for 30 seconds to one minute or count for 10 counts and come down the same way, placing your head on the floor, then releasing the back down. Puna Chakrasan with legs raised. Come back into Puna Chakrasan. Maintain the strength on three limbs as you lift the left leg and hold the count for five to ten counts. Then change legs. This pose in, is an advanced pose 
that improves your overall muscular strength of your arms, shoulders, hips and legs. Contraindications do not do after caesarean birth, abdominal operation, spinal fusion or breast cancer operation. Bring both legs down, bring the head down to the ground and lie down in Shavasana to release the pose. Kaishi Asana or scissor pose. Lying on the floor. Bring the legs together straight. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the leg left leg across the body. Turn your body towards your right side. Your right hand holds the left leg at the ankle or the heel. If you can't hold that far, hold towards the shin. The left arm is to the side on the floor with the shoulder pressing towards the floor. Relax here for 30 seconds to one minute, breathing deeply. Then come back into Shavasana and lift the right leg up, turning the body towards the left side. Benefits. Enables flexibility in the back. Massages the stomach and releases digestive juices. Contraindications acute lower back pain or bulging disc. Hold for 10 counts, 30 seconds or up to one minute. Release the leg and gently roll into Shavasana. Inhale, exhale. Rolling onto one side and gently coming back up to standing in Namaskar with the hands together, connecting to the divine consciousness. Sitting down now in Vajrasana. You kneel with the heels outwards and the big toes touching. You may add Sambhavi Mudra where you cross your eyes and look upwards towards the center point of the eyebrows. Then you close your eyes and look within. Benefits of this pose. It's the only pose that helps that you can have after eating as it helps with digestion. It improves blood circulation. It improves flexibility of the knees and the ankles. Do not do if you've had recent knee, ankle or foot operations or if it is too painful. Do not stay for too long. This pose is also good for pranayama exercises or breathing, deep breathing exercises.
Now into Shashasana, level one. From, from Vajrasana. Interlock your fingers and place your elbows on the ground to form a triangular base. Place your head into your hands. Your little fingers touch just underneath the head. The top of your head is cradled by the hands. The top of the forehead is firmly pressed into the floor towards the crown between the top of the forehead and the crown of the head is firmly pressed into the floor. You can stay here or you can move to the next level where you pick up your knees and you walk your feet in towards the elbows as close as you can until the back is straight and the hips are stacked up over the shoulders. Benefits Blood circulation The impure blood is moved upwards from the base of the spine to the crown of the head to detoxify the blood. The pituitary gland, gland is activated. Contraindications heart disease, high or low blood pressure, thrombosis, arteriosclerosis, brain or eye diseases, chronic neck pain, osteoporosis, inflammation of the eyes or ears, or intense migraines and headaches. Shashasana level two. Step one. When you are ready and the back is balanced and straight, you may lift the feet off the floor one at a time. You squeeze the abdominal muscles. You find the balance with the hips directly stacked over the shoulders and the triangular base Step two, you may practice the chair lift where you have the knees down and then you lift the knees and you take the feet behind. Go back and forth three times daily to gain abdominal strength. Shashasana, the full headstand. Straighten the legs and balance. Hold for up to three minutes per day. Return by bending the feet, bending the knees and slowly descending the legs. Finish in Balasana with the chest forward, head on the floor, and stay for one minute. Coming up into Januhastana, the knee hand pose. From Vajrasan, bring the hands to the floor with the fingers paying forward and the wrists towards the knees. Press the palms down, keep the hips down on the heels, stretch the arms and look up towards the ceiling with your nose as high as you can to stretch the front of the neck. 
benefits, removes stiffness from the neck, strengthens the lower back, increases flexibility of the hips and the knees. Contraindications, recent knee or ankle operation or chronic foot pain. Then gently coming up and standing in Namaskar. Hands together in Anjali Mudra. Connecting to the divine consciousness within. Balancing the left and right hemispheres. Now come down into a squat. Ready for Shankasan. Which is the conch shell pose. From the squat position, sit on your left heel. Bring the right foot flat near the left knee. Place your hands on your thighs. Twist your body and look towards the back over your left shoulder. Stage two, you bring the left knee down and you will feel intense stretch on your toes. Benefits. Increases the flexibility of the spine, increases your balance, and increases the blood flow to the feet. Contraindications, recent operations, or chronic toe pain. Up and repeat on the other side. So from the squat, sit on your right heel with just the weight on the right toes. Bring the left foot flat near the right knee. Twist your body and look towards the back over your right shoulder. Advanced variation, you bring the right knee down. Stand up in Namaskar. Coming back down to Vajrasan, we're going to do Shanagat Mudras. Type 1. From Vajrasan, bring the bridge of the nose towards the floor. Keep the hips touching the heels. Stretch the arms as if they are being pulled forward. Bring the bridge of your nose to the floor. Stretch the back as much as possible. Bringing the hands further forward. For a more intense stretch, once you've stretched fully, bring the elbows down to the floor. Type 2 variation from Vajrasan. Lock the thumbs together behind the back, keeping the arms straight. Inhale, exhale, bring the head down, bridge of the nose towards the floor. Stretch the arms back behind you, keeping them straight and the thumbs locked together. Benefits, massages the abdomen, calms the mind, releases gases, increases flexibility of the shoulders. Contraindications, recent ankle operation, 
If pregnant, you need to have the knees wide open in this pose. Shanagat Mudra, Type 3, Balasana, Child's Pose. Bring the arms beside the body. Completely relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Bring the elbows down towards the floor. Shanagat Mudra, Type 4. You form a cup with the hands, with the thumbs upwards. You press that cup into the abdomen as you bend forward. Then you bring the elbow, elbows downwards to press the cup deeply into the abdomen area. Benefits. Type three releases tension from the shoulders. Type four massages the stomach and improves blood circulation. Contraindications, recent ankle operation. Type four not recommended following recent cesarean birth or abdominal operations. Standing in Namaskar. Vishnu or Anant Asana. Lying down on one side, balance the body sideways. Balance the legs on top of each other. When lying on your left side, bring the left hand to the back of the head behind the ear and stretch the skin of the neck upwards as you push the hand up. Holding this pose for longer periods will give excellent neck stretch and flexibility of the neck muscles and balances the body sideways. Contraindications, recent neck operation. Do for 30 seconds to one minute on both sides. Flip to the other side and hold the pose. Stand in Namaskar Mudra. Tadasana. Standing straight with the feet together. Keep the arms straight, roll the shoulders back and pull the arms downwards behind you. Lifting the chest, tuck the glutes, tuck the ab abdomen. Engage the thighs. Bring the chin into a locked position, pulling back towards the spine. Hold for up to three minutes. Tadasana improves your posture, strengthens the abdomen, thighs and gluteus muscles and opens the chest. Namaskar. Vrikshasana or tree pose. Standing on the right foot, lift the left foot and place as high as possible on the inner thigh. 
Bring the arms up overhead. Interlock the last three fingers, pointing the index fingers upwards. With the arms straight, hold the arms just behind the ears next to the head. Inhale and exhale. Focus on a point directly ahead of you for your balance. This benefits your focus, your balance and your blood circulation. Contraindications. Do not look down if you have vertigo. You may lean against a wall if you need more balance. Bring the leg down and repeat on the other side. Finish in Namaskar Mudra. Ada Bada Padmutanasan. On the left side, standing with the right foot, bring the right ankle up higher than the hip, holding the ankle with both hands. Lean forward, keeping the supporting leg straight and the back straight as much as possible. If possible, place the hands on the floor. First the right hand, then the left hand and release. Benefits, a big release for the hips, improves flexibility and blood flow to the lower back. Contraindications. It is okay to do this pose if you have sciatica, but do it at your own level. It is not recommended for late pregnancy or following a caesarean birth. Return the same way, holding the ankle Come back up to standing. Hands in Namaskar. Release the foot. Repeat on the right side. Pull the foot up, holding with both hands on the ankle. Move forward with the legs straight and the back straight, still holding the ankle. Place your right hand, then your left hand, onto the floor, into the full position. Holding for 10 counts or more. Coming up the same way with the legs straight, hold the ankle, return to upright, holding the foot. Bring the hands into Namaskar and release standing position. Panangustasan. Move into a wide stance. Hold the big toes with two fingers and the thumbs. Relax the neck down and look towards the back wall. Hold for five counts. Then look straight forward for an intense stretch of the neck and the shoulders. Hold for ten counts. This benefits the neck as the neck is stretched to its maximum. The leg strength is improved 
and shoulder flexibility and release is improved. Look again to the back wall. Bring the arms forward and lift up to release the pose. Back into Namaskar Mudra. Hasta Dandasan, the handstand. We practice the handstand against a wall, beginning in a forward fold position with the back of the legs against the wall. You lift one leg up at a time to bring yourself up into the handstand. Lift one leg as high as possible and then lift the other leg up into the handstand. Look down towards the floor to relax the neck. Hold for up to 30 seconds or 10 counts. Eventually, hold for longer periods of time. After you bring one leg down at a time, returning the same way that you went up. In Hasta Dandasan. Preparation for Shavangasan. Lying on the floor. Bring the legs together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and lift the legs up into Utan. Padasana, an L-shaped pose with the feet flexed. You may hold this position to strengthen the abdomen for up to one minute. Then lift the hip and take the hands behind the back with the fingers pointing towards each other at the spine and the thumbs wrapping around the top of the hip bone. Move the hands down the back to lift the back higher and lift the legs higher. The chin is pressed into the chest. Hold for 10 counts, then release the legs over to Halasana. Allow the legs to move down overhead, keeping them straight. Do not force the feet to the floor. Allow the body to relax into the posture. Shashasana headstone, head, headstand and Shavangasana shoulder stand are known as the king and queen of the poses. They are more advanced poses to do once you have accomplished some time and flexibility and strength in the body. Try and lift the legs straight back up to Shavas, Shavangasan, keeping the legs straight. Nishin Namaskar. Finally, we're going to finish the class 
and Shavasana. Following Surya Namaskar, you may relax in Shavasana and also following intense poses, you relax in Shavasana. For up to 15 minutes, you may scan the body, beginning with your toes, relaxing the whole body from the tip of the toes to the crown of the head. Keep the mind on the body at all times. Do not allow the thoughts to wander. Remain in conscious awareness of the simple sensations of the body and the complex sensations of the body. Slowly scan up the left leg, all the way up to the hip, and then move down to the right toes, one at a time, focusing on the toes, moving up slowly up the right leg to the hip, and working around the torso, up the back, relaxing the shoulders, the chest, then move down to the left hand, working on each finger. Work slowly up the left arm to the shoulder. Then move your consciousness to the right side, in the fingers of the right hand. Becoming aware of all of the sensations up the right arm to the right shoulder. And move to the throat and the neck the back of the head, the face, all the sensations of sight, smell, taste, hearing, scan the brain, scan the crown of the head. Once the whole body is relaxed, come back to the breath and just follow the breath with the mind, noticing the sensations of the rise and fall of the abdomen. Remain in this pose for a long period of time. If you do have any lower back problems, the alternate pose is to lift the knees and let the legs fall in towards each other. Relax for as long as possible. 